Hello, it's Jonathan from Kickstart Commerce, uh, and I'm just recording this screencast to show you how to add uh, privacy policy and terms and conditions into a footer column like this, uh, which I've in this case called customer information. Now, if we go into the um, back office, So two things I wanted to do, I wanted to turn on the cookie notification, um, which you have to do in Europe. Um, and you do that in store setup, store settings. And it used to be in miscellaneous, I think, uh, now in security and privacy. And if you scroll down, you can see that you can turn it on or off here. So mine was turned off, I've turned it on. Um, and then you can put the actual uh, privacy policy link in here as well. I'm just going to save this with it off to see if I can trigger it to come back on again because I've just um, accepted all cookies um, which means it will basically hide it. So let's just see if that comes back on again now. So that's one thing um, and then the other thing was in storefront web pages I created a terms and conditions and a privacy policy. Now, if you have these ticked on, so let me just show you if I put privacy policy and terms and conditions on and then go and look at the store, you can see that it puts those into the main menu. Now, on most occasions, you won't want to see those particular items in the main menu and you can see here that it causes us problems because there's too many menu options now and it's put our telephone number down there um so i wanted to put them in the footer but there is no straightforward way of doing that without actually editing the theme files so let me just go and turn those back off again now And also, I will just go and turn the cookies off on this particular, I'll just clear the cookies for this particular website. Right, so I can just clear those. It'll probably log me out. But anyway, um, if I go and now look at the store, it should, right, so this is what the accept all cookies bit looks like. You get a, a not notification at the bottom that says, we're using data to collect your, we're using cookies to collect your data. Here's the privacy policy, and that links across to this page um, that we put in the settings there. And if someone clicks on accept, it basically just replaces the bar with a preferences link. Uh, so I think that's okay. Uh, it just stays there all, all the time, basically. Right, okay, so to do these uh, footer links, so what we need to do is we need to go into, let's just see if we're still logged in here. Yeah, it looks like we are. Okay, so if we go to storefront and then my themes. Okay, th this is probably because I cleared the cookies. So let me just see if I can log out and log back in again. Okay, right, so let's go to storefront and then my themes. Right, so what? first of all, what you've got to do, if you've got a, a built-in theme like I've, I've, got, I've got Vault on this occasion, what you can actually do is make a copy of that theme and it will make you do that before you edit any theme files. So I've done that and I've called it the kick.commerce Vault. Um, so once you've done that, you can edit the theme files. It gives you a warning about, um, you know, the fact that you won't necessarily be able to get support, but that's okay. You will have to uh, do that at some point on some of your theme files in in most cases. But you've got your copy. You can always reinstate the copy, right? Uh, if there's any problems in the future, right? So if we look in templates, components, and then common. 
we'll find a file here called footer.html. Now, what I did to achieve this um, this footer column here, normally, if you have brands activated, it will put that in this column. But because I don't use brands, I thought, well, I'll use that column for this instead. And I've decided to call it customer information and to put terms and conditions and privacy policy in there. So if we go back into this editor, what I did was I copied the I copied this section here, which is one column, which is the for the categories, and I just pasted it below. And I put a note on here in commented code to say this is a column added in for terms and conditions and privacy policy. And then I just stripped down what I didn't need out of here. And basically, you just end up with this bit of code. So you need to tell it it's an article like the rest of these, that it's in a column, it's in the footer, it's small, and it's part of a four column setup. So you just that's just exactly what it set up here. I did strip out the categories bit here because actually we don't need any formatting relating to categories. So I got rid of that part of the class. And then I um, allowed the heading to be um, the same, except here it picks up on um, basically settings in the store to come up with the heading. I just typed it in directly what I wanted it to say, customer information, but I still allowed it to say it's a footer info heading and it's an H5 tag, a heading five, heading type five tag. Then if we just do a basic unordered list, which is in the class of footer info list, which is exactly the same as this, but without the categories bit, we don't need any category formatting, which I think where there's a lot of categories, it starts to put page numbers in and arrows and things like that. We don't need any of that. So I took that bit out. Uh, so I just allowed it to say footer info list. And then I made the list items here be my two pages, terms and conditions, privacy policy, and put the relative links in there. And as long as we don't actually then go and activate the brand, then this is going to be fine. If we do, we'll have to decide how we're going to do it, whether we make it into a five column um, or we um, maybe combine two of the other columns. But uh, for now, that's exactly as I want it. I saved it and applied it. I checked it in the preview and it comes out like this and that's perfect now. So if I now click on terms and conditions, it just links straight over to the terms and conditions page. If I click on privacy policy, it goes to the privacy policy. So I think that's um, pretty straightforward. Um, it took me a while to just work out exactly what the right code was here, but by all means, just copy the code that I've put in there and you will achieve the same result. Um, let me just find it one more time. So it was basically this part here. I would always put a comment in just so that any other person who comes to work on these files knows that this has been added in. It might also be worth putting a date in. So I'm going to put February 2020. I think it's the 10th of February 2020. Okay, I hope that helps and I'll see you again. Bye for now.